Um, so first and foremost, this is goes for any um, application where you're kind of going internally in the computer. Um, I need to change the network settings of my um, computer so I can open network and internet settings. Uh, this is a Windows example. Um, Mac's a little bit different, but WYSIWYG's Windows only, so we'll go with it. You need to press change adapter options, and we need to add a um, loopback adapter. You can Google how to do this, um, but the instructions to do it, uh, press this start button, um, type HDWWIZ, or just find the add hardware wizard just here. Um, you want to hit next. You want to install from a manual. You want to then come down to network adapters. A little list will then load. You need to select Microsoft. And then if you just scroll down, you should see here, uh, test loopback adapter. So this will install this. Here we go. So now in this, um, you can see it's here. So this is a loopback adapter. This needs to be enabled on your machine. Um, so this will come up. We can just check the um, IP configuration. It will be defined in this range by default. You can change it, but typically you don't need to. So we're going to use this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to point Vista in this network adapter direction. That's done from file, user preferences, um, in the network tab. And you can see I was currently on Wi-Fi, um, which was a bad example. <laughs> we never recommend doing that. I just so happened to default to that because I have no other network physically connected on this machine right now. Um, so if we choose the interface, Ethernet free is this loopback adapter that we've just added. So we're telling Vista to use this. If we change this, it will be prompted to restart the application. So that's okay. We can close that. And I'm just going to close another little bit of software as well. Now I always use this next bit of software just because I, it's a historical thing. I'm just used to doing it. WYSIWYG does support ArtNet directly in, but to be honest, I personally still use this little um, sort of bridge. It's called Luminex Wiggalizer. You can download it from the Luminex website. Um, so you press this, a little box pops up, and we need to specify the IP address that we want to use. So this is the Wi-Fi, uh, and this is that loopback adapter address. So we want to use this as well. And that'll just run in the background. And then we can open the WYSIWYG uh, demo. You can download this from the website. Um, this is the free demo version for our Vista demo show file. You want to click WYSIWYG console demo. Click OK. And then select the demo file that's on the Vista website, Vista free demo wig file. And this will load up. So here it is. I'm just going to start my Vista software now. Okay, so this is playing. If we just go to um, WIG, I can just check in the connected universes if this is actually connected and sending something out, which it is. So let's go back to WIG. So we're good from here. All we need to do now is tell this to connect to the ArtNet. That's done in WYSIWYG by pressing Managers and Device Manager. And in this show file by default, there is a protocol called Ethernet DMX, which basically is that Luminex uh, Wiggalizer port. So you don't need to change anything if you're using our own demo show that's already here. All you need to do is press connect. And then you should have that connection in there. If it doesn't connect, it means that the Luminex Wiggalizer is not running. And if it connects and you don't see any output, then you possibly have an issue with where Vista thinks it's sending its network data to. That's pretty much it for that.